Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur bringing you another video of this developing story uh, because you know what, the story is going to be developing for a few days on this accident involving the driverless car and so I will bring you the news and I will comment on things that are coming up and I will correct any mistakes that might potentially come forward. Uh, this new development is an odd one for me because I'm going to be honest, up front, I'm not sure what to make of it. I really don't. I'm... Maybe I shouldn't be making a video until I've processed my feelings about it, but let's process it together because new information has come to light that the driver in the autonomous Uber vehicle that killed that woman was, in fact, a convicted felon. And I'm, believe it or not, I'm not really sure what I feel about that. According to USA Today, the operator behind the wheel of a self-driving Uber vehicle that hit and killed a 49-year-old woman Sunday Knight had almost four years in Arizona prison in the early 2000s on an attempted armed robbery conviction. A representative for Uber declined to comment on the conviction and the company's hiring policies, citing an active investigation, and in all fairness to Uber, yeah, they probably shouldn't comment on this just yet. I mean, they should probably hold off on commenting on too many things until after the investigation is done. That's just smart. That's just smart for any business, so I'm not going to criticize them for that one. Um, Elaine Hertzberg was walking a bike across a street outside a crosswalk in Tempe, Arizona, at about 10 p.m. when she was hit, police said. Police said the vehicle was in autonomous mode with an operator who has been identified as 44-year-old Rafaela Vasquez, I know I pronounced that wrong, behind the wheel at the time of the crash. Tempe Police Spokesperson Sergeant Ronald Elcock said impairment did not initially appear to be a factor for either Vasquez or Hertzberg. He added it was not apparent that the vehicle attempted to slow down while it approached Hertzberg, which is still going to be a sticking point. You know, right now the police are in the primary stages of saying Uber's probably not at fault, the driver's probably not at fault. This was probably unavoidable, but why didn't the car stop at all? Again, these things stop when there are paper bags in the road. Why didn't it even slow down for a few minutes? These are questions that do need to be answered, and I'm, I'm going to harp on them until they are. Court records show, Va I'm just going to say Raphael, had a, has a criminal record in Arizona under a different legal name. Records from the Arizona Department of Corrections show Raphael served three years and ten months in a state prison for convictions on attempted armed robbery and unsworn falsification. She was released in prison in 2005, so the driver was a girl? Oh, I didn't know the driver was a girl. Raphael sounds like a guy's name. The autonomous vehicles have been used to shuttle Uber passengers in parts of Tempe and Scottsdale. Riders who are picked up by self-driving cars would likely recognize them from the presence of the exterior centers. The San Francisco-based company recently came under fire for hiring felons. The Colorado Public Utilities Commission company fined Uber parent company $8.9 million in November 2017 after an investigation determined the ride-hailing service had hired nearly 60 drivers with previous felon convictions. Cal Colorado state law prevents individuals with felony convictions, alcohol or drug-related driving offenses, unlawful sexual offenses, and major traffic violations from working for rideshare companies. So, basically, don't do anything wrong in Colorado or you can't ever work again. I, uh... I have a hard time agreeing with that one. I'm sorry. I just do. Uber attributed the unlawful hiring to process area inconsistent with Colorado's ride-sharing regulations. The company said all drivers must undergo third-party background screening per Uber safety policies in Colorado. Okay, question to the person who's writing this article. That's in Colorado. What's that actually got to do with this? I'm Uber has more than 18,000 contract drivers and 1,000 employees in Arizona, with most staffers at the downtown Phoenix Operations Center. Close to 300 people worked in the self-driving operations in Tempe as of November 2017. The Associated Press contributed this report. So, there you have it. The, uh, the driver of this vehicle, which should, in theory, not need a driver because they do drive themselves, right? I mean, that's... Anyway... They were a convicted criminal. Now, how much does this really change the outcome? Probably not much, to be honest. I mean, even convicted 
criminals can drive cars. And let's face it, this person pretty much had one job. Step on the brakes if need be, which they didn't do. Now, the circumstances of why they didn't do that, that's another matter altogether. And, ooh. Okay, sorry about that, folks. And uh, you gotta love bloopers, right? And, yeah, any, any person, person can step on the brake. And it's been brought up like, oh, well, the driver couldn't see it. It came out fast. And once I see the video, then I'll comment on that. My response to that has been pretty consistent, though. There are some states and some cities where that's actually not even a factor. If there, there are actually horror stories, and you can look them up yourself, where people actually jump in front of cars in suicide attempts, and the drivers are hit with involuntary manslaughter charges. Why won't this? Why won't this be the case? Well, maybe it's because Tempe doesn't have those types of laws, or maybe because the governor has already showed favoritism by signing executive orders to let these cars on the road. Um, without drivers and while there was a driver behind the wheel in this specific incidence Arizona has already said the drivers don't need to be there so one day later this could have easily been an unmanned vehicle so I don't know um, what's gonna happen on that one I really don't I mean it will put a pause on uber's autonomous car program indefinitely as for the rest of the industry, I don't know. I mean, they didn't kill anyone, so they're not worried right now. But we'll have to see. Basically, we'll have to see how Uber responds to this. And as for this person being a felon, I don't know how that's going to affect anything, to be honest. I, I don't know how the, you know, police are going to take that. Because, yes, this person should probably not have gotten this job. Heck, maybe this person didn't even qualify to be on the Uber platform. I don't know. But I also believe that convicted felons should have a second chance at things. And this was a pretty simple job. Step on the brake. Step on the brake when you need to step on the brake. And the fact that he or she, because I it sounds like a guy's name, but the article quoted as a she, um, didn't do that. That does not look good. That's for certain. And if anything, I think this revolution will pretty much do one thing. Just one thing. Uber is going to try to shift the blame to the felon. Like, look, it was a felon driving the car. I mean, these cars are good as gold. That's probably what they're going to go with. Ignoring the fact that Uber hired them in the first place. Although we've already seen Uber starting to say, well, we have a third party background check people. Maybe they failed us. And this is, this is Uber's problem. They're always passing the buck. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, oh, you got charged a 9.9 .9 surge. That's the algorithm. That's not, that's not us. Oh, the self-driving car hit a woman. Well, the driver behind the wheel didn't, you know, didn't uh, interview when he or she should have. That's their fault. And it's like, oh, the, oh, the data breach happened. Well, that's not our fault, Trek. Tricky Travis, pay them off. Well, what is your fault, Uber? I mean, what do you control in this multi-billion dollar value company? Just, just what? I don't know. So, those are my thoughts for whatever they're worth. I don't... I consider this news more interesting than groundbreaking, personally. But we'll have to see what else comes up, because I a lot of people were really upset to hear this. Um, more so than I expected, to be honest, so we're just going to have to wait and see. In the meantime, to keep up to date with the news articles for me, you know, feel free to subscribe, comment below, like this video. If you really enjoy the videos, consider becoming a Patreon member for $1 a month. And as always, flame responsibly, hashtag delete Uber.